Good afternoon and welcome to this week's issue of Play Print 21, the weekly TV news bulletin from print21.com.au. My name is Wayne Robinson. This week we're outside of Woolworths because uh, Woolworths is in the news. It's decided to trial paper-based packaging, fibre-based packaging for its fruit and vegetable products, which is great news for the environment and great news for the commercial print industry, we hope, as well. Uh, but the main news at Woolworths and at every other uh, location in the country that is selling magazines is that the country's biggest magazine publisher, Bauer Media, uh, has just been sold to a private equity company, Mercury Capital. Mercury owns Webstar in, in New Zealand, one of the big uh, two web offset printers over there. Uh, the Webstar business suffered a huge blow when Bauer decided to pull out of uh, magazine publishing in New Zealand altogether at the height of the Covid crisis. Bauer now is owned by Mercury. Uh, Webstar, of course, will be hoping that means that the business gets back up and running there. Uh, in Australia, where Bauer has now has a 55% market share, uh, its printing business is split between Ovato, uh, which had the original Bauer contract, and IVE, which had the Pacific contract. Uh, Pacific, though, was bought by Bauer under duress uh, two weeks ago. How it will all play out? Uh, well, it remains to be seen, but it's very interesting times in the heat set web and magazine publishing industry. Uh, Bauer's tenure at, uh, of the magazines uh, can only, or can't really be described as, as a success. They paid $525 million for it in 2012 from Kerry Packer's ACP. Um, they're selling it for, I understand, less than $50 million eight years later. It's been through eight CEOs, uh, sacked hundreds of staff, uh, lost money hand over fist. Uh, also on the subject of losing money, a sobering tale on Print21 this week comes from a CEO of a printing industry company who lost $100,000 to the so-called CEO email scam. And the PVCA is warning printers, uh, all businesses, to uh, make sure that in terms of your accounts departments, dual authorization is an absolute necessity. Verbal authorization from the CEO and managing director for any <clears throat> unusual, large, urgent requests is always mandated. Uh, this company, the CEO tells us that uh, it was a typical story. He was unavailable. An email went apparently from him to his finance department. They checked it with an email back to him. An email came back from him, apparently, although it wasn't, to the finance department saying, yes, pay it. The money was paid. It's gone, he said. So uh, a salutary tale there. Make sure that you have double checking and verbal authorization for your finances. Um, one company that's uh, going well in the COVID crisis is uh, All Clear Sign and Print, or All Clear Print and Sign in Brisbane. Uh, it's just installed the country's first HP Indigo 12,000 HD digital press. Uh, Anthony De Stefano up there, so it uh, succeeds the 10,000 it's had in for seven years. B2 machine, which joined two uh, SRO3 HP Indigos. Uh, Anthony De Stefano tells me that uh, the colour he's getting off the 12,000 HD is outstanding, and he reckons that he can match any PMS colour uh, with, or virtually any PMS colour, with the seven colours on the HP Indigo. Uh, plenty of uh, technology stories on the Print21 website this week, as Drupa, which this video would be coming from Drupa in ordinary times, of course we can't go there now because it's not on. Um, plenty of technology stories, the company is still releasing products, go to print21.com.au for all the technology stories and all the other stories as well. This is me, Wayne Robinson, signing off.